tres equipos. Vamos a ver primero en qué acaba esto. Terapovic la saca por fuera. El lanzamiento de tres. No quiere entrar ese triple. Se quedó muy corto, pero el rebote es para Lier. Robertson de nuevo. Interior eh, en off. Y no consiguen la canasta en ese sentido. Pues finalmente parece que estaba pisando con la punta de la zapatilla. El de dos. Que viene el movimiento, colgándose del aro. Vaya triangulación de balón para el final de la pelota adentro. Intenta de Nock, la jugada personal de Nock, que bien lo ha hecho Nock, buscaba colgarse el aro Nock y falta personal sobre Dani Pérez. Bueno, pues que peque de, de mucho ímpetu que no al revés, ¿no? Uy, en el desajuste ahora se ha quedado ahí en la marca, o sea, ha quedado con la más fea y esa más fea. Bueno, y Felipe Dos Años, el último en sumar puntos a este partido. Ahí tenemos a Álvaro Muñoz fuera para Steven Eno, que se anima de tres y... Y se la dejó muy bien a Felipe dos años, que no tuvo ninguna duda. Pone el bloqueo a Enox, ahora sí, la ha leído Pozas, que otro pase maravilloso de Pozas y otra continuación muy buena. En este caso, sin miedo, sin ningún tipo, con todo el descaro del mundo y haciendo de lo que no es su registro más habitual. Otra vez no con el triple, que no entra. Capaz para Pozas de tres, no entra rebote Steven Enox. Ahí lo tenemos, jugando con la defensa. De Luja Canson. Sí, sí, con el bloqueo de Steven Enoch. No ve claro el pase interior. Le cae a Suárez que lo juega. Ahora ahí tenemos a Steven Enoch. Que es superior. Y dos puntitos. Quiere buscar interior para Enoch. Que tiene que salir de la zona. Ahora Robertson sí que lo encuentra. Defendido por Aaron Jones. Bueno. Uf, era bueno el movimiento. Vamos a seguir muy de cerca. A este base turco que viene de Darusa Faca con experiencia internacional. Hay mucha gente nueva ahora mismo sobre la pista. Enox se da la vuelta. No era bastante. Ozmirak, el que maneja el arranque de juego ya en la parte de la cancha que ocupa. Y Puzco Vázquez se lo dejan cortito para Enoch. Sí. Penetración de Enoch. Sí, vale, sí. la premisa para capaces de correr un poco, de dar un poquito más también de juego exterior al equipo. Sí, sí, el dentro fuera constante. En defensa también, además. El lanzamiento buscaba el ganchito. De... Mano para nada, ¿eh? Bueno, en la tercera italiana no, prometía 27 puntos por partido. Madre mía, que se dice pronto. <risa> Steven Enoch en la pintura. A la media vuelta a intentar. Bueno, metiendo a canastas. Serapovic que ha vuelto a pista peleándose con Ramsic. Le han cimado muchísimo el Montenegrino. La bola sigue siendo bueno, para Obradoiro. Enoch, qué bueno, bueno el pase interior. Sí, Enoch. Met... Un Rafa García que está haciendo una temporada corta, pero tremendamente intensa para él para decir: Yo puedo ser aquí el tercer base del equipo. Bueno, que ha la vista, ahí está el norteamericano a la media vuelta, se queda Rafa García, jugando con Álvaro Muñoz. Intenta zafarse de su par, lo consigue, juega con Enoch, se atreve Enoch de tres.
rebounds with the front line of either team. Looking inside, Enoch got his defender in the air. He'll follow his own miss and tap it in. Got it. A 10-point lead in the second half early stages. Enoch inside. On the left side on any kind of drive into the paint. Over the top. Enoch. That pass by Usher stolen by Wara. He goes to the rim. Doesn't get the roll. Here's Enoch. He'll clean it up. Nice job following up. Strong move Sutton. Enoch offensive glass. He gets tied up by Wright. And the arrow finishes. Ashes Stanley starting out the ball game. He's on Jordan Wara. That's a super athletic freshman guarding Jordan Wara. Steven Enoch inside. Left it a little bit short. Clemson. Well, anybody would have a tough time on Jordan Wara. He's that good of a scorer. But they're going right at Hurt right there with Sutton putting the ball on the floor and then just a pocket pass to Steven. Went straight up and knocked that in. Fresh Kimball, the grad transfer from St. Joe's, moved into the starting lineup five games ago. Enoch will step out and knock down the odd three. Same about Jordan War of Louisville, who's on the bench right now. Here are the numbers for Vernon Carey Jr. Just having a tremendous season. Great effort there on the law, but Enoch... Back cut, and they picked up a foul on Stanley. Man with Joey Baker on him. Nice bounce pass into Enoch. Can't get it to go. Boy, how physical was that? Jack White on Jordan Wara. Yeah, White starting the second half in the place of Jordan Goldwire, who started the game. Enoch too strong. Rebound Perry. People can get the ball to Wara. Being guarded by Jack White. He's got to start putting some points on the board. Remember, Carey's got three fouls, and Enoch will spin right around him. A couple of blocks and a steal in the first half of the Cardinals. Stephen Enoch needs to roll hard to the basket when he sets a screen. Another three by... Wait. So the fan was ejected for language? Yes. Who heard him? A lot of it. The officials did. Mike Stevens, Mike Roberts. Trey McGowan continues his strong effort. Yep. Nice night. 15 points for Trey McGowan, the sophomore. Let's see. Here he is Perry in the backcourt. For the third straight game, Lamar Fresh Kimball gets the start for Louisville in the backcourt. Enoch to the left hand. Strong rebound with the one hand by Enoch. But you can see just on that shot alone by Prentice Up, he's playing with tremendous amount of confidence simply because he was hunting that one of them during that game and the couple that with John Mooney fouling out. The Fighting Irish have been loose with the basketball here in the early going. Enoch around and out, almost down for Mooney, who is a 34% shooter from distance. Darius Perry hangs in the air, air ball there. Allowing Mooney to be able to pick up a couple boards and two points on that possession. And Luke Williams had a screw surgically implanted into one of his foot bones. Looking to go small here in the second half and going to match Fluger against Jordan War, which is a tough matchup for anyone, but then that allowed. Okay, little fella, let's go for a ride. <laughs> I'm going to take you down here on this block. Had to guard Joe Dumars for about two minutes. Yeah, good luck to that. Oh, they couldn't call time to take away Prentice Hub by himself. Can't get the roll. Goodwin puts it back in. Fighting Irish by four. Starting five. Oh, high, low inside. Opening with a high percentage shot. Stephen Enoch. Saturday against Duke, just two of 15, but likes very capable, averaging 15 and nine, makes a long three. Enoch very capable of shooting Donna. Here comes Wara, who in that loss to Florida State Saturday was brilliant at 32 points as Enoch has one roll out. And Silovich leaves it on the front of the rim. Here comes Darius Perry. Fresh Kemble attacking Miller. The foul by Enoch is no good. 
be for the program, a culture for the program. And it does take time. The expectations are incredibly high. There's a lot of little things that they've got to do right for them to reach their potential. But this is defense for Louisville's been good. And, and also, when you miss easy, quick, or open, quick shots early, it's been easy all defensive rebounds for Louisville, and they're off and running. So no rhythm offensively. And that bucket's going to count. Oh, Goldkin's going to be calling on Miller. I, I think the ball, ball was under the rim. Yeah. It was under the rim, but they have made contact with the rim. The ball was under. He started Wara act like he was going to go dribble handoff. And Gusty cuts him off. Stephen Enoch going to the right hand indefinitely. He was just starting to get some more time for the Aaron Agus team. And there's another big guy that the Canes are missing. There's Enoch just bullying his way on Miller. And it's a really good team. Wardenberg returning to the bench and under the care of the trainers. Enoch again going to work with the left hand. And this disjointed offensively right now for Louisville. You, you got to move, you got to cut it, you got to cut with a purpose. Get the defense to shift. Fresh Kimball get in there and knock the ball out of bounds. Miami's playing like they want to win this game. They're playing with a sense of urgency, and I'll tell you the same sense of urgency if it's given from the Louisville squad. A lot of patience right here. Perimeter shooting a little suspect now when you look at Louisville. Perry and Kimball are not great perimeter shooters. Nice pass though. <laughs> Terrific pass. Wayne Sutton down low to shots him out there. Four to six. Kimball on a run out, didn't know Vassell was coming and almost gave it up. Nice pass. Enoch with the left hand comes up short. Enoch, short. The shutter, the jump hook right there, but top to bottom, which we're used to and accustomed to in the ACC. I mean, there's no way to cut that. Enoch. Lands in, tried only four years senior on Leonard Hamilton's team. And remember, this is a 20-game conference schedule this year for the first time in ACC history. Enoch along the baseline. Well, they got a nice team. I'll tell you what, Walker, Vassell, Forrest, they got some strong perimeter players. The points. McMahon feeds the post. Nick Richards trying to hold his ground against Enoch, and the hook is off the mark, and a whistle and a foul. Did you get back from Vegas? I mean, you there for a few minutes. It took me a while. <laughs> <laughs> you stayed up here all week. Enoch got a hook, misses everything, and kept alive. Fade. Pull up the mid-range jumper. That one rims out, too, but followed nicely by Enoch. And a great man trying to get quickly off him. What the Richards does, he screws it out really good. They don't get back. Kimball to Enoch. Uh, that's not his fault. Oregon a little frustrated, not getting touches. Here's a banging going on with Enoch great. over a Richards. Great left hand. Great. We really got a book out of it. Here's Enoch. Nice. And an under and around. How about that? Leave it all up. He's got a big responsibility. This is a tough match, particularly on the glass, too. Enoch missed a three. Went right home work early. Here's Enoch against Montgomery. Normally it's Richards on him. Montgomery trying to stay on his hip. And there's a hook shot and one. Uh, that great word. Let it come to you now. Three-pointer by Enoch. Rims out. Rebound, Higgins. First time he's missed badly since the one three-pointer he had to take with a shot clock one. Oh, the feed to Enoch didn't go down. Perry can point of the half. Nice cut. Perry backing in on Maxi has to give it back up. Enoch, a triple in route. He got it. How about the little high-low action again? Enoch trying to go up and under. Wow, he had it and missed it. There he is against Richards. A little shoulder bump, a little shoulder bump. Here comes the hook. There it goes. Beautiful. Patience. And the ball is really out of sorts in terms of where to be. Five to shoot. Low block, Enoch's hook shot. Oh, nice Kept straight back. By Sutton. There he is again. And now War on the drive. And he had a block by Montgomery. Big defensive play. Loves that little bounce to hook. And bouncing with Richards, and Richards can't get a piece of it, and Enoch ties it up.
And Miami, Ohio now 0 for their last six from the field here in this first half. Over five minutes deep. And there is Steven Enoch going over the top. The lead 11 here as we drop south of eight minutes now left to go here in this first half. Enoch on the miss. Got it on that one. They had to rotate a couple of times and they were late on a closeout to the corner. Enoch bumping with Bowman. Goes to that left hand hook. I like the idea. Over Brown. A little too fancy in that sequence. Even fancier on the other side, and there's Enoch. Have wide open shots on the backside. Off the turnover. Cards in transition, the easy finish. Enoch, Enoch with four. That was another attempt. Well, maybe not an attempt, but almost another bank three. I'm <laughs> not sure that they tried to do it. This young man right here, Stephen Enoch, when he catches the basketball right hand. We sold our, our, our school well. These guys, uh, a lot of these guys have already you know, pledged back before we even played a game, and so they're really excited about what we got going on here. But that's the most important thing is signing. Players that were coming to Louisville and going to Kentucky and Indiana and places in the in the region. And Darius Perry, I believe, scored 28 points in that game. Running the show. We talked with Scott Satterfield back in the first half. Can I give you a football comparison? It's like having two quarterbacks. If you got two quarterbacks, you really don't have. That's the eye on war as this one goes along. I tried to figure out creative ways to do that playing JV hoops back in the day. I could never score from the bench, which is where I sat all the time. I remember it well. J.R. Reed playing for the Tar Heels. I can remember also, and I believe it was in that first year, when Lynn Bias came, as well as television, as you mentioned, with ESPN. So that was one of his first calls, bringing Dino Gaudio out of the shadows. 87 to 60. That's something perhaps you'd like to see the roles reverse. And Warren maybe doing a little bit more of that for his teammates. You get about that game last year that Holly Road just spoke of with Texas Tech when they got the standing O. There's a little high low immediately. Louisville going inside where they have the advantage in their truck total. Best player on the floor, Jordan Warren. He misses the three. Offensive rebound, Enoch. Slips inside with a left hand, and he's got all four. Boy, what a beautiful move. Uh, you think they're going to be a little more focused to get the ball inside. There's a screen by McMahon to screen Enoch into the low post. A terrific screen. Triple teamed, and he scores anyway, and that's the first. Louisville's fortunate to be as close as they are because Texas Tech has had some pretty good looks, especially by Moretti that haven't gone down. Right back into Enoch, and he gets a very favorable. Well, Ryan McMahon is one of the, like, he's a 50-50-90 he's a guy. Enoch. Boys, he got skill. I just wide open. There's the immediate double. Perry passed up an open three. He was 0 of 3 in the first half. Enoch, no rebound. Clark, that is most strong with the ball. You give Texas Tech credit for the steal, but I think Chris Mack, when he looks at the tape, is going to go, We can't be stronger than that. That was a foul right there. Yeah, but he lead of the night for Texas Tech. Anytime that Texas Tech uses Davide Moretti as a screener, you know he's going to get a screen. That ball looked like it might have been up on the on the Chris Mack. It would be their <laughs> last time that they wear those uniforms. Nice five by Perry to Stephen Enoch. They excel. Louisville gets into its offense now. It is Tony all over Wara. Doesn't get a touch. But Stephen Enoch connect. Enoch. Rebound Brown. Now yeah, last four games coming in, averaging 10 points, 10 rebounds. He's got eight points so far tonight. Enoch, no. And now Hamilton and McGowan's both come back for pick. Enoch! Sticks with McMahon. Enoch again. Offensive rebound. Karen Abaham has had a great game against Gonzaga in the last game. Shut down Petrusov, their good inside player. Home of four for 16. Enoch in and out from three-point land. He does that. He does it exceptionally well and did a great job hiring an outstanding staff with Martelli and Isley and Company. Enoch will misfire there. Was what the old fired. 24 unbelievable years dedicated to the city and to the team. Very on high for Enoch. Yes! Oh, down the three. 
off of Michigan. McMahon is due to hit one. He's missed four shots in a row. He's been close on some. You know, let's fly. He's really starting to feel it. Number four team in the country, Michigan, held to nine points with less than five minutes to go in the first half. In tight, Enoch. Yes, he's had a really nice half. And I just love Sutton and Wara. They're competitors, man. Enoch again. Get the ball in there too easily. He said, look who did they be in. Hey, Seth, I remember everything. You don't forget anything. Oh, gee. You know, feeling it here early, in and out with a three-point attempt. And in years in the NBA, and he's, wow. really, he's produced kind of a relaxed atmosphere here, but great attention to detail. Another misfire here by the Cardinals. And the fourth to here today in the word of the Hawks. Enoch closing in a double-double. A lot of contact, yeah. no whistle. And it goes. Nice. Chris Mack, first game coaching an AP number one ranked team in 11 years as a head coach. Well, you know, it's a good moment for him. Perry is a distributor. Point guard's got a great assist to turnover ratio. 38 assists, 10 turnovers on the year so far. No way to limit his touches in deep. Zone defense for the first time by the Hilltoppers. Nina. Good call, and I noticed that you are not wearing a striped shirt, so you get no vote. In that is day, correct. Neither do these fans for the Hilltoppers <laughs> who thought it was a travel as well. Backing him down, left-handed hook. Don't like it. Don't like it. In the half court. Tough shot, no good. Horton blocked out, but blocked out the wrong guy, and Enoch makes him pay. Credit Sutry. High low, Jordan Warren to the interior. Stephen Enoch, the best. Enoch backing down, Cameron Reese. Oh. The tip. And a look to play. Has the body at 6'10 to compete down low. And he's matched up with Enoch. Nice finish with the right. is on this roster not everybody does the same thing not everybody's interested in the same thing jordan war is a scorer dwayne sutton is perfectly Whoa! check in Football basketball. so the lead's at 20 just over two minutes into the second half why not throw him another lob she's the top scorer for akron first man into double figures Decision from Perry into the big. I'll tell you right now, this Akron team feels a lot like their matchup versus West Virginia to begin the season. Felt lopsided, but they fought in the second half. Since 2013. They did a great job moving their players and moving the ball. And when you do that, you tend to get the shoot around. Now they're not wide eyed at all, playing maybe their best basketball the first four minutes of this game. Offensive rebound. Enoch can't make him pay, though. Quiet night for Perry. He has zero points. Gotten a touch on every possession. This time comes up. Here's Perry. Goes inside to Enoch. Like they've done on every possession in the second half. And this Cardinals in a funk offensively. Just trying to figure things out. Jordan Wara has 19 points for the Cardinals. Who can step up? Set very high. And so you, you've got to go through some things. You've got to go through a little adversity. You have to deal with some... Uh, issues every once in a while out on the court, and so, yes. Yeah. You mentioned the balance scoring coming into the game, but really it's been Wara and McMahon that have paced the way for the Cardinals victory. Into the post, spinning hook shot, first look, where Enoch goes.
shifting standards does Mac. He was not pleased a couple games ago, emphasized the defensive glass. They cleaned that up against Indiana State, and, and really that's the point of who come in and they don't understand how to practice hard and how to prepare. But he, he's got a really high, nice pass. Enar flushes it home. And West Virginia put it on him in the second half. There, there's so much put on those guards, Xavier Johnson, Trey McGowan's, and they're really talented. Enar. Nice. Good decision. Wow, step back for Enar. Ball State. Them to 12-0 run for Louisville. Zenoch has looked really impressive at the post. I'm telling you, folks. How about Justin Watley? Not bad for a guy who has hardly practiced for them. Two threes here in the second half. Nice. 3-9-11. 9-11 happened my senior year, mm. but he recruited me there, did a great job, sold West Point, which is not an easy place to sell. He sold my parents. And everyone who's ever worn that uniform. You know, Veterans Day stands out on the calendar, but it is so important that we recognize everything that those people do. So A school record. He had 117 threes last season for Indiana State. You can't give him any ear space. Steven Enoch, he has a conference like the ACC. He got a chance to learn, got his body a little stronger, and then he got comfortable on the court. The talent was always there, but he just got into that comfort zone. And uh, He's got them year two right now. Uh, really playing as good as anybody in college, and it starts with that guy right there. Gets Jordan his own Hall. rebound, goes in Missouri Valley Pole, so well within reason, but Louisville has answered all questions tonight. Second effort, Stephen Enoch. A lot of discussion by the referees. So. They didn't go over to the monitor or anything. They just changed the call. They're trying to get Enoch going in the post. Can't get the state getting after it on the defensive end, and then Offensively, key. Inside, Enoch can't get it to go. Out the Sycamores going forward. Sure, really tough opponent. You knew that coming in. They go and they've dominated you offensively. But what can you take away? Enoch against the double team. Works his way through the paint. Oh, wow. Old school. Wow. That looked like a that was an open three-pointer for Youngstown State. They're going to have to make some of those. Wow, what a play that was. He worked on his games. He's had a little floater. He drives the ball to the basket a little more. Takes a few more two-point shots than he used to. That's some pass. Oh, wow. It's the player, and he's matched up against Wara. As Youngstown State showed that zone defense just the one time. Again, it's Enoch. But they have no answer for Enoch. So we went back and reviewed it. Our officials today, Pat Driscoll, Wayne Gladden, and John Gaffney. Again, one of the war three-pointers. Reduced to a two for those 12 of 16 on field goal attempts. They're getting great shots. Kimball had it blocked. Enoch was there to clean it up. Wow. Very active since coming off the bench, and that's one thing that we talked about with him. He is very, very aggressive inside on offense. On defense, he's just... Just sort of hanging around here in the first half. Kimball did not get the bounce. Enoch did not get the bounce. Try to get in front of him at some point. Guards working on a string of 19 straight home opening victories. Turn around. Curry, the junior from Marietta, Georgia, with the basketball now, and he gives to Enoch. Straight away three. 68-52, late in the second half. Cardinals trying to improve to 2-0 and on this young season. Turn around from Enoch. Got a nice... He had a pretty tough pass if he was going to try to make it to Nickelberry, but he saw Warwick coming from behind and made a great play. Enoch. One say in response to that. <laughs> to dig up historical nuggets. Williamson missed on the tip. Enoch also missed from short range. For these teams, opening with a conference game, something none of these players or coaches have ever gone through. Well, I think the biggest impact is, and you see it early, it's the nerves. It's basically trying to shake off. Had to do a lot more for his team last year, but he looks like he's ready to have a strong senior season. He is now over 200 three-point field goals for his career. 
Head coach Chris Mack for Louisville told us earlier today that was one of the things they wanted to guard against. Vasilovich getting hot. <laughs> I thought this hey, was the dessert. main course and dessert. Okay. Stephen Enoch checking right back into the game. It's been some time. McMahon was deadly from downtown in the first half. This time tries the floater, and the follow goes in for Stephen Enoch. And that's been, that was a little bit personal, though. McMahon just took Vasilovich off the dribble with the beautiful move, so Vasilovich had to get some get back on that one. Enoch, soft Enoch hook. Having a pretty much pedestrian game to now a double-double and having a great game thus far and getting it started in the second half. And that's Enoch. the second time we've seen that same. Buscando también ahora la distancia Robertson. Balón para Down. Juego interior. Stephen Ock. Cinco segundos. Hay que buscar el lanzamiento. De tres, no. El. And this is the fifth year senior. Grad transfer from St. Joe's. Fresh Kimball. We'll see Virginia with their patented post trap, but she's got to recognize the shooters for the cards. Credit. But also the fans who have really supported this program and built a tremendous advantage here. Well, it's a beautiful building as Jordan wore on to Stephen Enoch. Louisville can't waste any more time. Williamson puts it up. Your points. Enoch able to save it. Shot before the buzzer is good. Score 11 points in the first half versus that Cavaliers defense. 42 in the second, really figure it out. Guarded well and everything. There's Kimball with it, who committed that turnover in the final seconds the other night. Long jumper on the way, Perry, and nothing but big spotlight on him. But this is a team that not only can get contributions throughout this starting five, but they go deep too. They can bring four players off the bench. Here's Sutton, draws some contact, doesn't get the call. No Jordan Wara in the game. Throw the big fella the ball. Working on Banks, that's been just a great matchup all night long. Instead, it's Johnson for three off the back of the... L. Johnson says, all right, I'll see you and I'll match it. Johnson thought about the lob. Here's Enoch. Oh, that's about Tom that Rathman. There you go, Bill Ring. Nice call. <laughs> I just... Something about Patrick Mahomes, man. First look in, yep. in this first basket. And a better job uh, so far early. They've knocked down a three, but also looking inside for a long time. Kimball's a thousand point scorer out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The best player for Louisville. He had to be treated on the sideline just now for a bloody mouth and nose. He has been in there mixing it up. Very physical start. All right. Big player on the floor, but going up against Juwan Durham tonight, a former teammate at UConn, he may not actually be that. But wasn't aware that Durham had that type of ability, but he pulled up confidently showing that stroke. Maybe the fact that he's playing. The best teams know how to close, and I think that'll always be the question until they prove that they could beat some of the best teams in the country. Kimball. Kimball's going to have to hoist one from midcourt. That hit the backboard oh. and hit the rim. Wara for three. Yes! Digits. Three to shoot. Darius Perry stares down. Actually, one was an offensive foul. The second was an offensive foul. The first one, he got fouled and made two free throws off of. But if he moves those bat that basketball to its points, the crowd always shows up to support their cards. War with a basket on one end. Brown, the common just a couple of years after all the NCAA allegations and so forth. Enoch the kick. Sutton is wide open. Can't hit the three. War is on. Nice job denying him the ball. Great find underneath. Kick back out for Sutton. And the ring man who's been the Bills' best shooter. They're going to try to get some shots for him. He's going to get some separation. Kick out for him on cue, but it's already for the Hillsoppers. And both of these teams are top Nerves. 10 in the nation in shooting. Louisville would love to shoot it Woo! from in. Sutton off the mark. Draft you look at is he'll come away with it here. He's projected in the first round. Pretty good. Dish to Sutton underneath. In this area, he said of Johnson, he's a freak athlete, but he doesn't play basketball like one. And he meant that as a compliment that he really knows how to. Really needed that. They had cooled off in a big, big way. Perry, the answer. 
too much on it. Uh, the Missouri Valley Conference in points per game, close to 18 last season. He is a scorer. Getting back on deep. Kimball with the entry pass. Immediate double team right back to Kimball for three. Enoch on the block, sends it back out. To basketball. So we congratulate Dan on that momentous mark. Going to be a great year in the ACC. Nine threes made by Kalsher. Red double on Enoch. Laura repositions over Coffey with the triple. Coffey in line when he caught that one prior to. He was four, five feet off the lane line. Tough to score from there. Enoch kicks it out to Sutton. Yes. In the second half and have a chance to win the game. Sort of a ease some of the wounds, many of which became evidence. Evident after plus stats and highlights all coming up at the half. Not surprised at all. I spent a lot of time with Texas Tech back in October and the preseason poll came out there picked by Malone in the corner for a split second. Laura has great range. He'll try for a two. And Braxton. And West you know, right now, 826 remaining in this game. Louisville with the three-point lead. Look at that. Perry finds war. Picked up his second personal. Uh, you're right. Still got three more fouls to give to Virginia. Oh, great defense. He, a guy like that, as important as he is, to be anything but just taking care of himself. Tor launches him back from off-season knee surgery. He's got the type of frame in the same way that people talk about Stephen Enoch, who he's tangling with under the... About 50 possessions on film with Kristen Cunningham, and he made every right decision. Here he is from the corner. Enoch, the big man, into the game, out of the timeout. Passes met by Saar. Enoch comes up with a loose ball, finds Wara on the baseline. And Horde. He can find a way to run Louisville off the three-point line, make them have to shoot contested twos, such as this one, and then come up. A lot of transfers who have really helped out the program this year. Three grad transfers. Next year, they've got the second-ranked recruiting flat team, but it's a, it's a good team. Man keeps the dribble alive. Great find out to Sutton. Afternoon. Wara leaves it short. Williams the rebound. And a foul. The best player for Louisville. He had to be treated on the sideline just now for a bloody mouth and nose. He has been in there mixing it up. Very physical start. All right. The best teams know how to close, and I think that will always be the question until they prove that they could beat some of the best teams in the country. All ready for the Hilltoppers. Both of these teams are top ten in the nation in shooting. Louisville would love to shoot it from in this area. He said of Johnson, he's a freak athlete, but he doesn't play basketball like one. And he meant that as a compliment that he really knows how to uh, The Missouri Valley Conference in points per game, close to 18 last season. He is a scorer. <laughs> Getting back on deep yes. in the second half and have a chance to win the game. Sort of a ease some of the wounds, many of which became evidence, evident after met by Saar. Enoch comes up with a loose ball, finds Wara on the baseline. And Horde. Afternoon. Wara leaves it short. Williams the rebound. And a foul ones where it's a senior Anthony Lawrence has to stay away from those because he has to recognize his importance of staying on the floor. Williams over his Last three games, Will the Tensai has been held in check. He's made just one field goal. He's been shut out the last two. As the Akite missed. They got caught on a switch. And Louisville tried to make an over-the-shoulder pass. It was almost impossible for Stephen Enoch to corral. And it's not on shooting shoulder to the left. I guess she would go for shoulder, but it's not nice shooting hand side. And the bucket on the strong drive. Because Florida State can shoot it, you have to come out further. And that goes back to man. Raquan Gray is an effective driver. Threes has become unbelievable. It's really following and emulating what goes on in the NBA. And it's not enough in terms of moving the ball for better shots. Yeah, half the... You can see they've really drilled on this, analyzed on film. Sims. 
Looking to create, take some contact, left it way short. Michael DeVoe getting inside the paint, back to his right. Oh, shot couldn't go, but there. good match up there. Alvarado nice. gets to the banks, misses the dunk, but he'll go to the line. Johnson couldn't get the feet right. Busey is driving. Warren beat him, but he knocked it raced it. White pumping on Enoch. Challenge. Close by Musius wouldn't be bad, even though he's on Sutton. Yeah, Sutton fronted him there. A little hesitation. Childress. Another try. Give you his thoughts from 12 to 3 tomorrow yeah. in the great city of Indianapolis. Oh, look Brown at Brown. Brown drive. Sar. EU. Oh, tremendous fake. And. Stephon Mitchell looks for separation from Enoch, and Wara has defense is a good offense. In this particular case, yes. And I think this zone has Boston, I've bothered Boston College as well. In a little bit, depending on how Clemson is shooting from the perimeter. Five points for Darius Perry, trying to defend in this instance, a whistle stops. Trap tries to cross it over. Mack provides the safety valve. Nifty behind the back dribble, and then Sims. Goal attempts, and that includes two of six. From beyond the arc, this is DeVoe, stop and start. Wow, using the glass and his bucket. And forced it up, didn't get it, White there. Shot clock didn't reset, didn't hit the rim. Stanley getting to the rim and getting fouled. Right. Get up under him. Yeah, the goal wire is yeah. long, and, uh, and athletics keep the ball away from him. Jones into traffic, it stays. Absolutely right, when you start looking seriously, and it's fairly early, yeah, we're like the midway point of the college basketball season. That's a tough one. On the roll, here's Enoch going up strong, but he can't finish it. Came on back around and the Panthers out. That is a play that is going to. Well, with Enoch against Mooney on the block, but that time Mooney winning the battle, Enoch un unable to finish it. He hasn't had a great. And then Williamson steps in there, and they're going to call him for the foul. So the freshman from Rockwall, Texas, picks up his options, and he's, he's had to gut it up. This is the Miami team that's really been hit by injuries we haven't mentioned and we should have earlier. Enoch makes the two free throws, lead back to seven, crowd trying to exhort the Cardinal deep. Threats. You're always a better team that way and they've done a good job of eliminating the transition game here in the second half. Miami still. That was a veteran against a freshman right there. They just zipped it right by his noggin and War puts it in. He has 17. But Miami, he's a multi-talented athlete. Oh, great think. Osborne, Ready. able to bank it home. Florida State shot so well from the three to have that lead. Can they contain him? Gray! I like be your pick. Wow, what a big win for Florida State. It Florida. was a win for a team like this. They're still looking. Oh. Just doesn't have the same energy we typically see them with. Oh. That's a good lay-in by such an effective night across so many different fronts. Six points, nine rebounds, three assists, three blocks, and another rebound there for Sun. They liked it afterwards, but of course, you know, I think it changes your preparation over the summer and how you have to go about preparing for your season. When he was old and he was very close to his mother growing up. There, no, no defense is that good. A lot of this has just been bad shooting and bad shot selection. Well, a good game from beyond the arc. His mechanics follow through and form is not the issue, and that's a great sign if you lose it. Plus minutes of the second half. Hamilton's feeling good, and he's in the double figures with 10. Big win yesterday. Illinois team that was 6-1 and one at the time at Illinois. Jimmy to get off the shot, the block by Enoch. To get into double figures here. Brooks trying to attack. He'll kick. To Julius Snow. Rebound tip control by member of 2008 against Savannah State. Wow. Right. So in and out. He likes to use in right there. Doesn't take the contested layup. Finds a sharpshooter for three. React tough finish over Enoch.
David Johnson. He had seven in the first half, but picked up a couple of fouls in just his second collegiate game. Jack got a deflection. Coming in, you know, having seen so much tape and watching Louisville. Clear size advantage they have. It fearless the other way. That's Tommy Bruner, the fresh. That one rattles in and out for McMahon. And Louisville's offense a little stagnant right at the moment. Bim, he's up to 23. We saw that play a couple of times in the first half. And Louisville. Primera bola para Baxi Manresa, punto de perderla. Manos blanditas. Apareció Steven Enoch. Era Álvaro Muñoz el que estaba presionando esa salida de balón. Muy bien, tabú ahora. Está poniendo la acción de... Zamar el que aparezca. El movimiento de Trimble. ¡Oh, vaya tapón! Sácate. Pues el tapón. El propio Trimble quiere penetrar, busca la asistencia. ¡Brof! Sí, anota esta vez.
on to the second year guard from Cali. D.A. Clark has had his imprint all over this game. Play through Enoch, good things happen. Haven't really established a big fella on the inside. Horn, that's in and out. He ever fouls too. As you pointed out, they never turned it over. Shot clock down to one. And a three-pointer ball score is at a very good half. 11.7 rebounds. Aline had nine for the Hokies. Way downtown. That climbs the wood. Got to use them all this evening. Nolly won't shoot it. Horn will. Rebounded by basket and playing the ball. Raekwon Evans in off the... Good job by Kimball. Glued to wall to Ted side. Oh, man. Clark got it from the... They have not done what the coach asked them to do, which is get into the ball and pressure right there. You see what McMahon did? He didn't let the ball in the lane. But that, that was a late... A great, you know, a real threat as a rim protector. So uh, they, that interior is going to be open for Louisville. That is Newman and another point win for the G-man. Just to see Coach Crum though in that 75 team. Conference game since that one. Till today. With the win against the visiting teams from Miami. And the Yellow Jackets held their ground. Here's the long outlet to DeVoe. And he knocks down a three. Half his two big brothers were out.
Upshaw. Upshaw en el juego de uno contra uno. Ahí tiene cierta ventaja y lo resuelve tal y como lo vemos. Porque Stephen... Point shot, and what he does, immensely dangerous. Well, he made the first five in that game you talked about the first time they met. That's a sweet touch. Old as could be. Sims really wants it down low in this matchup versus Eno. Sims lost command of it. Big back. Right. Oh. He gets fouled going up for it. It really three if you count yeah. the one in the back court. Yeah. Thunderbird. Backside rebound. Daniels and the Wolfpack also have just over three gone by second half. Popovich has it pop out. Five and purple. As they call it in Clemson, South Carolina, the regalia uniforms today for the Tigers. Sims holds over 22,000. Final minute. Tigers and cards. Weak up. Here's Johnson. Tony thought about it. Hamilton to fall away. A lot of this year, but they're very short-handed tonight. Only eight guys dressed and really only seven healthy. Freshman Harlan Beverly has had a shoulder and a little instinctual awareness. But what makes him so good is the motor. He, he just goes. He plays hard. And that's the thing. When you've got that size and athleticism playing with the Cardinals for many years, works with us on ESPN Radio as well. And Bobby B was saying that there's been widespread panic that's set in after. Richards. Strong move. I also think you need to force him to his left hand. Well, he has yet to have to put the ball in his left hand in this game as we take a look. We'll swing that pass. Delivers. Now the seven-footer to back it down in close with a left hand nicely done. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Joel ones, two on ones, you don't see any of them. five against five. Tusky drawing a triple team and a foul. So he'll be taking it in on Bassey. And now the entry pass. Charles Bassey missed the dunk. Right there by Hollingsworth. Final five seconds of the first half. Williams down to Bassey, gets it to go oh, at the buzzer. Off, and he is expert at that. Bassey gets the entry in low with the right hand. A nice little jump hook. Yeah. They've got an anchor in this young man right here. Bassey ducks through and scores. They might have to. Western Kentucky negates the pressure. Bassey, mid-range. Oh, boy, he's oh, feeling man. it now. Bassey calling for it down low, guarded by Enoch. Entry pass. He's not matched up defensively with Dang Riak. Enoch got dial it down for distance. Enoch, no different. The numbers in total for those two, but as you look at Jordan Wara, he's only had three. Be a little bit jittery to start this game off. Chris likes with the turnover early. See Stephen Enoch making missing a shot that he normally makes. Rodney Miller on the hook, terrific all-around athlete. Played baseball and water polo back in high school. Here he is on that left-hand hook and drawing the foul. Also there in 13, 2010, 9, and 2005. Across the lane, it's Huru. With the fight, bumping down low into Enoch. Shot clock at three. It's Murphy. McMahon got... Right now, Allison, thank you. Seven of the Woods has come in. He's in there for the backcourt with Brandon Robinson and Sterling Manley with the ball into the game for the first time. By knocking down some wide open shots. Saw Dwayne Sutton's line on the screen there. And he's had a big scoring game yeah. as Doherty scores in the... To use a horse racing analogy, they haven't come down the stretch like American Pharaoh exactly, but uh, as Mooney struggles second. 
second yesterday in practice with Ty Jerome between six tenths and seven tenths, and DeAndre Hunter with point eight. That's a very quick release. Oh, Louisville, but I think that he can definitely benefit this team as they get later into the season, especially because of his experience. John Carlos Reyes, little coming back home, playing for the Cards, and really their most reliable player. And the reason why he's their leader in minutes, Chris Mack keeps as though he can't make it, which it was a big time mistake. Popovich turns with the left hand. In the first half with foul trouble, he's got to be cautious not to come out and force his game, allow it to come to him as he's done so well all season long. Thomas going down the left side of the lane again. Basketball. You get down to a one possession scenario as we are right now. Williamson has defensive rebound. This coming against the team Louisville that gives up the fewest second chance points in the ACC. Today from the jump, North Carolina has had a decided advantage. Going for the reverse leg. That was a bad loss for Michigan last night, even on the road against an Iowa team that has played well. They're really going to try to jam ball in that really jump screens on him, try to get the ball out of his hands, make other people beat you. But, but they, they can do a better job guarding. This has not been a good effort so far for North Carolina defensively. Dwayne Sutton, one of the underrated players in the three games, Will the Tensai has been held in check. He's made just one field goal. He's been shut out the last two as the Akite missed. They got caught on a switch and Louisville tried to make an over-the-shoulder pass. It was almost impossible for Stephen Enoch to corral. Because Florida State can shoot it, you have to come out further. And that goes back to man. Raquan Gray is an effective driver. Mike gets it right back.
Michael DeVoe getting inside the paint. Back to his right. Oh, shot couldn't go, but there was Johnson couldn't get the feet right. Busey is driving. Warren beat him, but he knocked your race. Defense is a good offense. In this particular case, yes. And I think this zone has Boston, I've bothered Boston College as well. Right. You get up under him. Yeah, the goal wire is yeah. long. And, uh, and athletics keep the ball away from him. Jones into traffic. It stays. And then Williamson steps in there. And Ahí la penetración. Difícil. Ahí Mason es muy pequeñito contra Enoch. Quita de la canasta, perdón. Y con ese corte se quedó solo. Volaba el triple, no ha conseguido la canasta Jonathan Tabú. Recupera el balón. Cinco rebotes. Pues venga, primer fallo. <risa> primer fallo. Vamos así.
as Giaquite misses badly on that three from the top of the key. He leans in. Tough shot. He was looking for a foul call. To get inside that paint. Aline lets fly. No. And there is a lid on that basket for the Hokies earlier other day. They rallied. BD. That's in and out. Cone. Way downtown, that clangs away, so the first shot of the second half off target. Warren will collect it. Yeah, they're one of the best in the nation at taking care of the basketball. Nolly catches, fires, no, short. Trying to drive it, Enoch came out to defend him. Straight on Horn, can't sink it. Cardinals all over the rebound. Nolly working on Kimball on the spin. Enoch yanks that one down. And rebounds and really established from the get-go is going to be a really good senior night for him do they convert and open this thing up and that's exactly what's transpired Radford off the mark we are told that Louisville will be without Malik Williams in this second half turned his left ankle to be one side shot clock about to run out Raquan Evans Dribble to an open spot. Can't finish it. Big battle between Enoch and Garrier, and it's out of bounds to Syracuse. The one good news looking at what. Yeah, staying in front of Jordan. Thirty-one thousand came off in a tier fifteen. Corner jumper, Tyson. And it caught a lot of iron. Looked like it was going down. And that is getting the lineup right now. Really neutralizing the trenches. Short jumper off the mark. It, this offense has been this afternoon. Trap from the corner. Too strong. This thing is beginning to tilt. Usher now directing traffic on Warren. He'll go baseline, gets by Warren, misses the dunk. And now he picks up a silly foul. Alvarado makes one of two. Look at the run just a little bit. A little quicker across half court than normal. Well, the crowd started groaning because that really is the... First free throw. Missed it. Huff tried to palm it. He's called for... ...shooting team in the country, and we've not seen enough of it so far. That's a wild shot. If that went in, we'd have to check gravity. Yeah. Let's get Prosser in part that... He's got to cut out some of the extra stuff that players don't need to hear. Do they need the 18th thing on the list? Markel Johnson launching. And the rebound pulled away by Enoch. I think Number nine Duke is at the Dome in Central New York tonight where 30-some thousand of Sean's friends will be there. I got a lot of friends. For the orange. <laughs> Now, Lou. State trails 15 as we go to the second half, and Devin Daniels trying to get the Wolfpack started. What did Coach Keith say to you? You got a minute gone here in the second half. Johnson worked his way into the paint but couldn't finish it. It's not the height, it's the width sometimes, right? Okay. Williams, Kimball, and Enoch. C.J. Felder, though, on the free throw miss. Well, Boston College. The international distance this year in men's college basketball. Trap straight away. Does not get the desired result in the stadium. Scott with the turnaround, had it deflected away by Enoch. Now Mack doesn't get the roll. Enoch skies for the board. They start a watch. He's in the box score as far as points are concerned. This is Trap looking for another three. Enoch had the box out. 
play here for the Cardinals. And, you know, Junior Bridgman at halftime referenced that as well. Most of that team was from Louisville. Jack White in off the bench for Duke, has to force it up. And the rebound to Enoch. A lot of dribbling for Duke, not as much movement. Sonic blockbuster. And Duke with the first possession of the half. Stanley in and out. Duke ran a little ball screen corner. Very strong defender, lots of steals, but he can really get it up to the basket. He got it up that time, but it would not. Road losing skin, but that win at North Carolina, but then fell to Miami on the road a few days later, 66 to 58. with Prentice Hub. Luger tries to turn the corner, finds Hub in the corner. Strong. Luger to the corner. All right. I'll tell you what, John Mooney already today, Corey, as Gibbs lets fly, has done as much as he did in the entire... Primera bola para Baxi Manresa, punto de perderla. Manos blanditas. Apareció Steven Enoch. Look at him crowd, Cole Anthony. Boy, he just threw it to the inside. Two programs met in Louisville last year. Cardinals led by 23 midway through the second half, and Duke came back and won it. Mooney to be able to come up with the board and the other four guys aren't giving him much help. Luger's pass always has his team shoot the basketball well, don't turn it over, don't commit fouls. They're checking all three of those boxes this year, Corey, but it doesn't always translate into winning. Of John Mooney right there to be able to come up with the basketball after Enoch blocks the shot. And the touch to finish it off. And they were a different team, especially in this game, without Warren. Raekwon Gray has it stripped away by Enoch to hit it head to Darius. We'll work it inside. Darius Hicks, a transfer from NC State, turns it over. All of these upsets that we've talked about with Duke and Kentucky, that has gotten the attention of the Louisville players. And you can see it with them playing out here. I mean, caught it in a good spot, goes to that jump hook. And almost every mock draft you look at is, they'll come away with it here. He's projected it. What a job, Chris Mack has done this year to convince his players I, I, I love you guys I, I'm not with Tennessee number one in the country for the third week in a row pulled just out today there's another ball finally won